Hello and welcome to You Tell Me. My name is Akinomo Bitan. I'm in the west of Iceland in a town named... How do I pronounce it? Grundarfjörn. Grundarfjörn. <laughs> <laughs> With the folk artist known as Liston. I'm pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. We're going to be talking about art and life, life and art. And this is just going to be a fantastic creative fun and inspiring time looking forward to hearing what you've got to say yeah and and just look for the end it's the best don't quit looking look to the end you heard the man <laughs> let's get to it i'm, I'm just a, I'm, I'm a folk artist and uh, if i tell you about how i think this i just want to work free with, without any control so I just uh, I, I didn't want to educate it so I didn't have any frames so I don't know the frames so I don't have to think about it and I, I'm, I'm free in my art I use as much scrub in my art as I can as we much use scrub scrub or scrub scrub there's something that other people are throwing away yeah when I see scrub somewhere it begins to, to to put each other together in my head and make some sculpture. Uh, I don't have to think about it. It's just something that comes up. Also, I've used it if people ask me to do something for them, especially in style companies. I ask them, do you have any scrub? Mm, yeah, maybe. Okay, there's them. I go there, get something, take it here, make some art of it and let them have it back. They don't have to pay for the material, they just have to pay for the work. And they say, oh, I didn't knew that I have so much good things. Because <laughs> they didn't see, they just see scrub. But I see art. And uh, no one can criticize what I do because I don't know what I'm doing. I just do it. And I do it for press, uh, uh, passion, a passion artist. It's more for me like uh, disease than, than, than uh, uh, do it uh, to sell it. This lifestyle is, it's not conventional. It's, it's not how most people <laughs> no. live. You're, you're in a town of a population, did you say it was 840? Uh, yes, 860 people. 860 people. Yeah. But you haven't always, you grew up here, but you haven't always lived here, right? No, I was born here in this town. Yep. And I, I'm local because I was born in the town. Most of kids uh, from that time was uh, born in the next town, but that's terrible for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're raised up in town like this, this is more like a family, not not a town. Then you are you raised up of of all the town are raising you up, not only your parents, it's everybody. And uh, if you if you are raised up like that, you are more like a town than a one person. Yeah. We were allowed to do everything. There was no parents to, to tell us to do, not to do this, not to do this. The old people, they let us do things. Let us have uh, equipments to, to use. And, and you know, always something to, to think about. And we were more like uh, groups of, of dogs going all over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sniffing of everything. <laughs> Where's to eat next? <laughs> and if, 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 if there was called from one house, come in and eat, everybody goes in that house to eat. <laughs> Not to a separate places, places, to their homes. It's just food, kids, food, everybody. <laughs> So everybody was had home in every home, and uh, that's a little bit like that still today. If 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 you would want to go to visit someone and he's not he's still in the work, you just go in and, and make some coffee, and when he comes home, you are giving him coffee <laughs> in his house. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, how it is to be in 860 people uh, family. Just controlling about to, to enjoy the life, to have some fun in life. And, and if you can live on it, 
then it's just uh, some bonus. It's, it's, it's not the point to get money for my art. It's just for me. And if people can smile of it and, 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 and feel good of it, it just gave me also. And it gave me lots of people uh, calls and, and say, this is very good. But it gave me more pleasure that people are fond of it than buying it. So that's the same point. Uh, to give people some joy, but uh, also giving me a joy. This, my, this is my fellows. Yeah. And uh, uh, people maybe not believing, but the songs talk to me. Yeah. When I when I'm uh, going to make something out of them, I just have to go outside every evening and and talk to them and and it's just like a flowers. If you don't give them something, it won't grow. It sounds like your art then is collaborative, where you're the hands who kind of like sculpts the stone. Mm-hmm. But it sounds like the stones also do their part as yeah, well. Yeah, they, they do their part. They tell me what's in them. Yeah. And what they want to be. Uh, that makes sense for me. Maybe not for, for other people. But uh, this, is, this is maybe because uh, when you are connecting to the nature and you always live in the nature like here, you, you are raised up in the nature and go and catch your fish here uh, on the beach and, 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 and uh, the sheep are all around the town and, and so on. You're always and the cows just milking in the next house and so on. Then you realize the nature better than if you never see nothing but the next house. Uh, that's okay to be raised up in community that you just see the next house if you're satisfied about it. But uh, to, to realize uh, how I'm thinking, you have to see it from my point. That's how I uh, understand everything. It's this, uh, you're just part of, of, of the nature. We are not the nature, we are just in it. And, and, and uh, try to think well, uh, good about the nature and, and, and don't destroy everything with greed and taking so much that nothing is left for the next generations and so on. <laughs> and and now this stone one don't want to talk to me anymore. Just <laughs> you see. It's okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But, but <laughs> don't be jealous, okay? <laughs> I'm going to talk to your niece. She's here. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's let's head inside because uh, inside as well, you it's not just stone and wood that you work with and iron and there's also uh, there's also some treats for us to see inside as well. How long have you been creating art, and how long have you been in this studio here? I will always be created, just as uh, as long as I can remember, and I remember almost since I was born. <laughs> but uh, yes, I always be created. I always have been a little bit different than the other kids in this town, and uh, and and I was allowed to be different without criticizing. People just uh, had uh, fun of something new was always happening. Every day I did something new. So it was just, what, what are you going to do today? Maybe not, nothing terrible. Okay, yes, okay. What's it? Yes, this I, area of your studio yeah. seems to be very tool heavy. Yeah, this is this is work area. I have it not, I have it closed because I'm working here, I'm working here. I don't want to work, walk from this area to this area and carry everything around. I could use this, use this with, with, with different hands. Take it over and walk here. This is area where, where, where they have the heavy things. 
up. Yeah. And lighter and lighter and lighter after we go to the song. Yes, I always be creative. I always, I always wanted to do something new and and just a little bit different. So for individuals who are looking for their creativity, what advice would you give to them? Yeah. Everything, if you want to look at it that way, everything is, is, is uh, every job is created job. Uh, in some cases, uh, you are not allowed to do this and do this, but in, in most of all jobs, you can move something forward to, to make your job better or, or to, to do more on a shorter time because in, in, in all companies they want more out of people but you you can do it if you if you look at it as as you are creating something good good for the company it's good for you and uh, just just like the life uh, the life itself is, is is art and work is art everything is art if you want to look at it that way I get my first oil colors I was eight years old there was a old man here who, who gave, gave it to me he was sick and he used to, I, I'm not going to use it anymore he said give, give the created kid it he have a talent so I begin to paint from oil then uh, some jobs are, are just uh, hard and, and not well paid and if you get some new release uh, new way of doing things you won't get anything paid for it or even not thanks for it uh, just it's just take from you and you it's just, mm. but uh, it's better to look at it that way i did it it's for you i did it i don't have to get paid for it i gave it to them they didn't get, give me anything that's okay. I'm satisfied. I find some new way. As in the life, if you are, if your life is boring and and you, at some point, you going to do something good, and and you find some new way, then it's just yes, I find a new way. It's giving me pleasure. I look at my life also as an art. To, to create a good life so I can be uh, happy when I look back. If I uh, get uh, opportunity to, to, to look back as an old man, you never know when your last day comes, it just comes. And uh, for me, it's just uh, another pleasure to go. You don't know. What's, you don't know what's the he behind the hill. You won't realize it before you go over it. So uh, why should I, 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 I think too much about that's the end. But now we are getting people here also because the country is free of, of the virus mostly. And we control it very well. Uh, we we are more like one human. We've always been uh, fighting with the nature. So if uh, everything is controlled here by uh, uh, scientists, if it's some crisis, then they control it, not the government. They just go from and the scientists decide what's best to do now. And you can also give people uh, what angry people surround you if you just give them good thoughts uh, sending them good thoughts and in uh, maybe a few weeks you can see them smile I tried it once I was working with woman who was always like this <laughs> and uh, I decided I was 
Ef þú var forfið þörf og þú í tvo og þrý er svo hennar decided I'm going to send her a balloon of happiness and she was working there, I was working here and I begin to think now I'm blowing a happy balloon release it and send it over to her and to blow up on her and after a few weeks she began to smile to me and good day so it's worked I know it and uh, maybe that was just <coughs> she she was seeing I was giving her some eye contact good eye contact warm good eye contact maybe that was the reason but the reason was I was showing her something good but because if someone is like angry and you take hi <laughs> she can't be angry anymore is it? <laughs> it's more like this most beautiful things art in the world is what the nature created big mountains blue sea skies sun comes up moon comes up just look at the art there and, and just animals move how, how, how they act how, how people are maybe sitting at the coffee house moving talking together you can see happy people talk together unhappy people talk together uh, you go to the grocery store and, and, and when you are paying give the people a smile thank you thank you that's art also everything is art. I'd love to know about this piece here. Yeah, I can tell you about this piece. I only paint, paint over the winter months because painting is more like meditation and I couldn't go, go any further last winter so it's going to wait until next autumn. So this is still a work in progress? Yeah and uh, you see it's very happy it's waiting for me to work with it and, and the light is a bright light colors because maybe it was much starker when i finished but uh, i think that the painting is so excited to let me begin to paint it's going to be brighter and brighter every day until i begin to paint Considering that this is a work in progress. Yes, this is work in progress. Why do you leave it here? <laughs> why is it not? Why, why have you not put it aside somewhere? It because seems to be in a very prominent place yeah, in, your, just, in your studio. This is, yeah, this is just like a friend. Yeah. That you, 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 you won't put it somewhere else if it's happy. <laughs> it's boring for it to be somewhere else waiting. Like no one is coming. Uh, if I put it here and have it here and I'm look at it and, 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 and talk to it and, and it's waiting then it's more likely to be a happy painting and if I turn it around yeah and no one is looking at it <laughs> when it's crisis and some something bad weather uh, volcanic or, or, or something earthquakes and so on it's always the scientists that control it and they're telling the, the government what to do not the other ways. In many countries, it's it's the government who goes for it. We, we do, we do, and, and do everything uh, stupid because they are stupid. <laughs> Damn, they are stupid. People were controlling, and we are waiting them. We are more stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Very much hope that you have enjoyed. Any parting words, Liston? You've said enough, actually. He said en he said plenty. <laughs> We're going to get out of here. While you are here, hit subscribe, hit like, share this with other individuals that you may believe would like this content as well. And actually, maybe one more thing also is, 
Is there any way people can find you if they want to check out some of your, your work? Yeah, I just uh, go on Facebook. Yep. Uh, Facebook, Lulli Liston. Yep. I'm going to include, Lulli. I'll include a link in the description section below. And with that said, from myself, from Liston as well, enjoy the rest of your lives.